let's get to the formula we were talking about earlier. This is the bread and butter of Dev Slopes. First off, skills plus monitored mentorship plus freelance. This is the biggest thing, this exponent of time. This is what nobody talks about. This is what takes a long time. Number one, gaining the skills with monitored mentorship. This is how AI models learn, right? Machine learning. It's overseen by a human, typically, who says, hey, this is great, this is bad, this is good, this is bad. It's one of the things ChatGPT needed to be able to grow. And it's the exact same way that you learn. That's why mentorship in DevSpace is so big, both on the technical side and the empowerment side. See, we need to be able to develop our coding skills, like the right side of our brain, and the emotional skills on the left side, or however which way it goes. It's so crucial that you develop both sides, and nobody does that. We talked about this in yesterday's vlog. What's your self-talk? If your self-talk isn't there, if you're so down on yourself all the time, you will never be able to gain those technical skills because you will think that you fucking suck all the time, and that's just not true. You have to learn how to control that, and that's why you provided on both ends of the spectrum. The monitored mentorship for the skills and the monitored mentorship from the empowerment side to show you your true potential, to show you how valuable you are, and to show you how to take back control of your life with licensed professionals who are doctorates in psychology. That's amazing. That's one of the coolest parts about it. Now, after we have those experiences, we understand how to sell ourselves. We understand how to control ourselves. We understand how to do the technical skills. We're then gonna move on to the next really important factor, getting that professional experience. So we're gonna go into freelancing. Now, when we go into freelancing, this is everything. You're gonna learn for the first time how to sell yourself in really uncomfortable scenarios. The one thing you're worried about when you're trying to get a job is, how am I gonna get this job if I don't have anything on my resume? Like, that's not possible. I've been working for Uber, I've been in a warehouse or whatever it is, how am I supposed to show people, hey, hire me because I've worked at jujitsu for the past three to four years. I'm looking at Wes right now, kind of maybe joking about it, you know? Who knows what your experience is? Wes, before he came here, right, worked at a Java Juice. Is that how you pronounce it? No, it was a juice bar, but... Juice bar, doesn't matter, same thing. And now he's here, right? Because he had the prior experience and I believed in him, right? So getting that freelance work, walk you through exactly how to do that. This exponent of time, this is where most people get lost. It takes 16 months to 24 months. I'd say 16 for most people. It can easily run 24 months. This is where everybody quits because when you start this journey off, this is what it looks like. We have time, we have our memory, and then we have results. It works like this. Everything you do today is gonna sit here, right? Results don't happen until down the road. The actions you take today will not manifest for upwards of six to 12 months down the road. But here's the thing, when we're here, we don't remember this. We don't remember the stuff we did today. When we don't understand the memory versus time versus results, it's really hard for you to make that transition. That's how I was able to make it. And it was a miserable, painful process. But I was able to be mindful of the bullshit I'm doing today that feels like it's doing nothing. And these are the five temptations everybody faces in their career transitions. You're gonna be tempted in, the, in this process to think there's a silver bullet. I see this with my students all the time. You're gonna think that, okay, I need to find the course that's perfect for me. I have this unique learning style. I'm a hands-on learner or I'm a hands-off learner. I need to watch something. The reality is it's nonsense. That's bullshit. You're not a hands-on learner. You're not a watch learner. Everybody is an everything learner. Some people need some things more than others, right? I was the kid that was dyslexic. My mom would drive me two hours once a week when I was younger because I was dyslexic. And they wanted me to do all these things to think that I needed some special way to learn. I have probably read more books than almost anybody, probably more than all my teachers in high school. I've read an ungodly amount of books. And I did that because I wanted to finally better myself. And I knew that there was never gonna be a silver bullet. What typically happens is people who are in the process of making this transition, they look for the silver bullet. The best thing, the best program for you is the program you can follow. Any remarkable personal trainer understands this. And this is what I learned when I was a strength trainer a long time ago. If I could just get people to follow through with something, they're gonna win. Number two, setting unrealistic expectations. I hate 
boot camps because they give you this bullshit concept that this will take place in four months. In four months, you'll be a six-figure developer. <gasps> no, you're not. That's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen in four months. It's not gonna happen in five months. It's not gonna happen in three months. It'll take 16. Yeah, you're gonna have the handful of people that can make that transition in four months. I'm gonna break the bad news. Unfortunately, that's just not gonna be you. And the reason why is because most likely you have responsibilities, right? Maybe you have to worry about paying your bills and mommy and daddy can't just fork over money for you to go to a thirty dollars to $50,000 program and float the cost of you to live there and pay all of your bills. What falls into this aspect of setting unrealistic expectations is thinking that once you get started, I'm gonna put three hours a day to coding. I'm gonna dedicate four hours a day to reading. But no, no, no. What I want you to do, 30 minutes a day max. But setting unrealistic expectations, whether that's with your time or your lifestyle, we wanna focus on consistency over everything else. Number three, fixed mindset versus a growth mindset. Most of us will fall into this old concept. Man, I don't know why so many students in dev slopes will come in and they will have this fixed mindset to where they will believe that they know everything. They will believe that they are above reproach. And the reality is they're really scared of the fact that they're so far behind. This growth mindset is everything. This ability to be an absolute student in everything that you do. One thing you will learn from me in this entire process, I learn from everybody. I have been asking Wes, John, Connor, Clint, Bruce, everybody for so much feedback on myself. I'm incredibly comfortable speaking in groups of people. Speaking to this camera is wildly uncomfortable for me, but I'm getting better at it because I'm listening. I'm willing to take all the advice from them that is possible. So being able to move into a growth mindset to where I'm gonna grow every single day, I might be in one of those low valleys or high valleys, doesn't matter, I'm gonna grow. Even if I don't make forward progress and I'm climbing and I can't see progress, I'm gonna grow. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, no, I know what I'm doing. I'm not gonna ask for help, I'm gonna do this, right? No, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna look and seek for help. Number four, giving to the stories we tell ourselves. This is from Crucial Conversations. I don't know if it's in one of the vlogs. In Crucial Conversations, it talks about whenever we initiate a conversation with somebody, one of the biggest problems we face is that we may not like somebody because a handful of really odd things happened with that individual. And now we have created this bias in our brain against them. We create these stories. Maybe you're a woman looking to get into tech and every single room you walk into, you immediately think that those men don't like you because you're a woman. You don't know that. Maybe you're a guy walking into a room and someone has a type A personality and you assume you're like, oh, they're alpha guys. I don't want to be around them. You don't know. Take those biases, put them to the sides. The stories you've told yourself about feeling fucking stupid if you have to ask questions, put those to the side. Ask the question. It is okay. The more self-aware that we can become of the self-sabotaging stories we tell ourselves that impact everything on how we see the world, it'll change everything. Which leads into the final point. The fifth temptation is whatever bullshit has prevented you from being able to get to that final step. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's your family saying you're not good enough to do this. I don't know if it's friends. I don't know if it's your own self-talk. Whatever that is, you need to sit down. You need to get something like this. I have a dedicated pen in my briefcase right here. This pen is just for journaling. That's how serious I take journaling. You need to figure out what's going on. You need to take the time to digest it. Write it down. Go through what's happening. Process it. Figure out what your value system is. These are the things you need to worry about. You have the formula to success. You have the time versus memory versus results formula. You know that the process is up and down. It's not a straight line. And you understand the temptations. This is all you have to do. But I promise you with everything inside me, if you follow this through, tomorrow will transform your life because it'll be the first day that you take a step, understanding how to set boundaries and how to truly see what success looks like. That time versus memory versus results, that graph is the best thing that'll ever happen to your life. That graph changed my life fundamentally as well as giving myself an algorithm for success, just like what I gave you in that formula. Take that, implement on it. That's it for the day, guys. I'll see y'all tomorrow.